bitch is looking cool. We got him, guys. We fucking got him. <laughs> Yep. What's up, beautiful people? It's such a beautiful day here in Dallas again. I wonder what the temperature is. Siri hasn't been talking to me lately, so let me see if she still has an attitude. Hey, Siri. Of course. Of course. All right, it's 61 degrees. It's not even as cold as I thought it would be. Happy New Year once again. I know I said that in my last video. This is gonna be my last time saying Happy New Year. I just feel like this is my first time telling you Happy New Year in 2023, which is why I have to tell you again. Happy New Year. First things first, if you are new here, welcome. My name is Linda J. And if you are already family, welcome back. Since it's a new year and I feel like the new year always comes or just feels like a new beginning, I wanted to let you guys know what to expect from my channel from here on out. So I am rebranding. If you haven't noticed, I've taken down a lot of my natural hair videos. I started off on YouTube as a natural hair content creator, so a lot of majority of all of my videos were natural hair related and I no longer want to embark on a journey that focuses solely on natural hair. I'm more so focused on lifestyle content now so I'm really into vlogging and sharing my life with you so it seems like you guys are receiving that really well that's what i'm going to continue to do also youtube has been copywriting a lot of my old content what's happening is i was using content that was no copyright music at the time and the person who was creating the no copyright music has now changed it and made it copywritten so youtube has gone back and demonetized all of those videos um and so a lot of my old natural hair content is no longer monetized that's a big <laughs> and my interests are just changing. But I've done a lot of do-it-yourself beauty stuff. But at this point in my life, I'm more so interested in going to somebody else, paying them to do my hair. If you follow me for natural hair content and you unfollow me now, no hard feelings. I totally understand. I'm no longer making content that is of your interest. And that's fine. So anyway, like I said, I just got done doing my hair and makeup, so I'm getting ready to head out. I really want to go home decor shopping today. We have to go grocery shopping. We do need to clean up, but that's probably gonna be this weekend. Also, thank you guys so much for all the kind words regarding my hairstyle in the last video. Okay, let's go. Do you know we broke the bed? We were not doing anything in the bed when it broke. And we were sitting up talking and his side just collapsed. I was like, so lately we've been sleeping on the couch. It's not the most fun thing, but that's what we've been doing. We need to get a new bed frame. Oh, and can I show you my highlight? Oh my God, girl, Dior, Dior. This is the Backstage Glow Face Palette. Yes, ma'am. Jokingly, I came out and I said, I told the man, I said, I feel like I look like I should be taken on a date.
got a package from Amazon. Now, based on the reviews, this side is good, but it's loud. Let me go ahead and grab the mouse so I can see if it's still loud. And what I mean by that is, let's see if the company has made any changes to this mouse pad since receiving those complaints. Yeah. It is a little loud, but one reason why the sound is irrelevant to me is because nine times out of 10, if I'm sitting at the computer, I have my headphones on. They actually include some of these. So what these are are sound dampening stickers. So you stick them on the bottom of the mouse and supposedly once you stick these to the bottom of the mouse, it helps reduce the sound. I'm gonna be putting the dampening sound stickers on the two black lines that you see on this mouse. sound exactly the same to me. My camera battery is actually getting ready to die, so I'm getting ready to close my night out and go to bed. We are furniture shopping today. After we eat, of course. Absolutely disgusting. Never again. Never again. The best news is that we got the entertainment system. I cannot wait for you guys to see it in this space. In the meantime, let me show you what we got from West Elm and Crate and Barrel. Look at her. And she's so pretty. A little heavy, a little sturdy, ain't <laughs> We went to West Elm and we ended up, I ended up going back and forth about some pillow, sh is it shams? I had picked out like five to six different pillow colors for the pillows on the couch. Right as we were walking out, I saw this pillow and this vase right next to each other. Ah, it was so sexy! The other two things that we got from West Elm are this cute little bowl. This is bowl is gonna stay on the island. And then I saw this and I don't have a plan for it quite yet. I was telling the man that I'll put my plant in here, but I'm not sure. One last thing we got from West Elm. My plan with this, because it goes so well with the pillow and this vase right here, is to put this on either side of the couch and put stuff in it, like blankets and stuff, and then cover it and have it as like, like an end table where you can charge your phone, put it on here, whatever you want. And the thing that I like the most, the lid is reversible. Now from Crate and Barrel.
Thank you.